Hi, welcome back to What Jack Has Made. Now, in the previous video, I mentioned we would be building a WordPress build hook. And in order to do that, you'll first want to go into your Netlify project and then go underneath your build and deploy uh, settings group and scroll down until you find build hooks. Now, you'll want to create a new build hook and call it anything, I'll call it WordPress. And we now have a new hook which when you create a request to, will create a new build, um, a new deploy request to Netlify. So you could create a fetch request or anything similar, but thankfully due to our setup and the plugins we're using, we have access to a plugin called WP Jamstack Deploys, which gives us the option to input the build hook um, without having to go into any code. So this is my old um, What Jack Has Made hook, but we can replace it with our new hook and we'll have post. And now as of some later versions, we now have some configuration where you can add in a bad image, a badge image URL and a badge link. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and find uh, where is our badge image? I believe here it is. So our badge link is this portion. So we can input that. And then our link is currently this, but in the future we'll have it as what Jack has made for slash deploys. And then you can change what will trigger a build. So post pages, any changes to those, or any changes to case studies, events, and inspiration and reviews. You can also Add in categories, tags, navigations, and then save. And so with that saved, you now see in the top right hand corner, we have a Netlify build badge. Now this is usually used for a GitHub repository or in the footer of, of a website to show the build status. But in WordPress, we now have access to it to show us, you know, well, to show to your clients or to show to yourself whether or not the website is being published or not. Now you could either trigger a manual deploy website um, by clicking on the button, or we could go into a post or page and create a change. So if I went into read time in real time with React, we will change this to view. Not that I would ever code in view. That's a joke. If you code in view, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm a React boy and when, oh, I didn't even have to refresh, just did it for me. So you can see it says Netlify building. And if we go back into our Netlify project and go to deploys, you can see deploy triggered by hook WordPress. So anytime you make a change to your WordPress environment, based on the checkboxes you checked in your settings, it will change when you trigger a deploy and your website automatically will deploy every time you make a change to those fields or groups. Um, I'll fast forward to when it is deployed and show you what that looks like. Okay, so our site is now live. This was the previous build. So if I do a shift refresh to clear the cache, you can see read time in real time with view which is exactly what we just input into our blog post. So I'll change that back to React. Um, you can see it still says Netlify building, but I think if I refresh, it should say, should say published. Oop, it still says building. Um, because it is building. I think maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure what's triggered the, the other build, but it's not a bad thing to have multiple builds going on. As long as nothing is being built wrong, then it's fine. But yeah, that's essentially the process of hooking up a um, build hook. You could set it up yourself using some PHP functions, but this is just a straightforward way of doing it. And it's easy to manage on all of your websites.